On this cool December evening, a 42-year-old black lady left her job. Such a shy woman, she would rather walk that extra block to avoid any mob. This simple seamstress just wanted to find a bench to rest her aching feet with no other words in the world except for what she wanted to eat. Little did Rosa Park know that this was a special day. Like always, you could find her fishing in her purse for her bus fare to pay. But, this is Montgomery, Alabama, the home of Jim Crow, where the majority of black folk rode the buses, but very few drove. Jim Crow was a law to separate the races. Despair from poverty could be seen on the black faces. Rosa Paul was a precisely dressed woman of elegant and flair. Ordered the bus and put in the exact amount of bus fare. Montgomery buses were segregated like all the rest. When any black boarding one, they just wish for the best. And, as usual, the back was standing room only, with no empty seats. After seeing the front of the bus empty, she simply sat down to rest her aching feet. A sudden clatter of sound from boo, hisses, and angry stares. Rosa Park just looked out the window without any worry or any care. Suddenly, a white patron approached her with anger and bark. Who the hell do you think you are? And she replied, Miss Rosa Paul. So now, for those who wish to challenge Rosa Paul, importance in a matter of the civil rights are the same people who would put their tail between their legs and would run from a good fight.